Honorable Minister of Finance. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Speaker, Honorable Members. The, the nature of the education revolution to date is that it is no longer uncommon for someone of uh, limited means or a difficult background to accomplish great things in the field of education. But even as it becomes commonplace, there are still incredible stories of triumph, of determination, and in need of inspiration that merit mention um, as great young people as the Prime Minister often says, uh, soar like eagles with their wings unclipped. And in this case, I wish to offer the heartiest and most heartfelt congratulations to one Emmanuel Kwashi um, for attaining his PhD in politics from Queen's University in Belfast in Northern Ireland. As many of us know, Mr. Kwashi um, was born to a, to a single parent household and his mother had health challenges that made it impossible for her to give him the care that, that a mother would typically give to a child. And Mr. Kwashi therefore ended up in various adoption agencies, in, in the care of the Liberty Lodge Boys Home, and on occasion, in portions of his life, homeless and living on the generosity of friends and strangers. And notwithstanding that, he always did this displayed incredible determination and a really awe-inspiring drive to succeed. And that drive and determination first took him to the University of the West Indies in, in Mona in Jamaica, where he got his bachelor's degree uh, in international relations with first class honors. He then went on to get a master's of science in government with distinction at the university. And even though he had in his youth challenges with speech fluency. He had a, a terrible stutter when he was younger. He confronted that by joining the debating team and then even becoming a lecturer at the University of the West Indies. Following from that, went on to spend three years in Northern Ireland um, doing his PhD at Queen's University in Belfast, where he developed expertise in the area of terrorism, terrorism preparedness, and the vulnerability of Caribbean states uh, and our soft targets in the Caribbean uh, to the threats of terrorism and to terrorist recruiting. And Mr. Dr. Kwashi is now one of the preeminent uh, experts in his field with that distinction of uh, Caribbean vulnerability to terrorism and what can be done to mitigate that uh, vulnerability. In an era, Madam Speaker, where you hear students coming to you complaining sometimes that they're tired of eating black beans in Cuba or that the scholarship paperwork is too much paper to fall out to get the scholarship. They're not they ain't going to bother with it. Too many forms you have to get, too many referees, and too many recommendations and the like. The story of this young man who overcame the most terrible disadvantages uh, from a socioeconomic perspective um, and some terrible challenges from his own in interpersonal and, and family circumstances, to overcome all of those things, to scale the pinnacles of education within the Caribbean and internationally, and now become known as Dr. Emmanuel Patrick Kwashi, is a story that we should tell 
to children all across St. Vincent and the Grenadines and hold him up as an inspiration of what is possible if you put your mind and your heart into your dreams and your work. Thank you very much. I'm obliged.